Hi, welcome to another video. So, I recently talked about Taskmaster, which was kind of cool, and actually solved some genuine problems that you face when coding projects from scratch. I raised some issues in those videos as well, like asking for connection support with something like Google's Gemini, OpenAI, or even OpenRouter. Well, these features have now been added, and there are a ton of upgrades. So, let's check them out. It now supports six AI providers, which are OpenAI, Gemini, XAI, OpenRouter, and it already supports Anthropic, as well as Perplexity, which is kind of cool to see. I really wanted to see this. You can set models from these providers in three distinct roles, which are main, research, and fallback as well. This means you can configure each role to be handled by different models with different providers, which is kind of cool and will let you save a ton of money by using Gemini 2.5 Flash for these kinds of tasks. There's also a new CLI command to configure these models interactively, which is kind of cool. The model management can also be done in natural language with your AI coder, as it also supports MCP. New tools have been added to it in order to use it more effectively and also set up the models from there. It is also now officially supporting RuCode. Previously, you had to change the windsurf rules to match it, but now that is not needed. It automatically creates a rules file for it, and RuCode automatically uses that, which is kind of cool. It has also made the parsing much better for the project requirement documents, which is pretty awesome. The add task and next options are also now much better to use, and the add task now automatically researches as well, which is kind of good. You also have the max tokens option, which allows you to set the number of tokens that a model can generate. This is great for managing tasks. There are also some more minor upgrades, which will be great for everyday tasks. So now, let me show you how all this works and how you can use it accordingly. But before we do that, let me tell you about Ninja Tools. Ninja Tools is a crazy AI platform where you pay once and access all AI models and agents at one place. It combines all the best AI models and experiences. It allows you to save over $600 per year compared to having separate subscriptions. You get access to Claude, 3.7 Sonnet, GPT-4.0, Gemini, and a ton of other models in one subscription. You even get some more cool options like AI video generation, image generation, music generation, and document chats. You can also use their playground to compare multiple AI responses at once. The best part is that it just starts from $11 per month that gives you more than 1,000 chat messages, 30 AI image generation, and 5 music generation, while there is also some even more advanced plans if you need them. Make sure to check Ninja Tools out and save some money on your subscription while you're at it. Also, make sure to use my coupon code AICODEKING20 to get an additional 20% off. Now back to the video. Now, if you use the Taskmaster MCP server, then it needs no updates. It will automatically fetch the latest version and use that, which is kind of cool. But many of you may use the CLI tool, and that is what I use myself as well. Even if you don't use it, you can keep it installed in order to change the model providers and stuff accordingly. So, just run the npm install command to install it, or use the npm update command if you already have it, then update it to the latest version. Now, we can start using it. Let's start with the taskmaster initialize command. As you know, this is the main command that initializes the rules and everything in your folder. But now, when you run this, it will also allow you to set the models that you want to use. So, it starts with the option of configuring the main model. It has a ton of options that you can choose from, or if you don't find anything, then you can also use the custom Open Router Model option to set any model from there. It currently doesn't support Olama or custom base URL stuff like that. So, let's select Gemini 2.5 Flash here 
because it's free and works well. Then, you'll be asked to set up a model for research, which can be GPT-4.0 with search, or perplexity, which is generally the default, and also the Grok models, which can also do search. If you want to use something else via Open Router, then you can do that as well. I'm going to be using Perplexity, but via the Open Router endpoint. So, let's just select that. Now, we can select a fallback model, which will be used if the main model is giving errors or something. So, let's select 2.0 Flash as the fallback model here. Now, we can start using it. Also, if you use the MCP server to initialize it, then the process will be mostly the same as before. But to configure the models to use, you'll have to go in the Taskmaster config file and then change the stuff accordingly here, which is fine. This file is mainly where your config lives. This will also be made even if you use the CLI. Also, for the API keys, you set them in the MCP config if you're using the MCP server, or for the CLI, you'll need to put them in the environment itself with the export command. Now, to check which models you have set up, and if the API keys are set up for them or not, you can run Taskmaster with the models command, and this will show you a table of the models that you have configured for each step, along with whether you have set up the API keys for them correctly or not. So, just get that set up accordingly. You can also set up the models as well by using the setup flag along with the model, and it will just open up the interactive shell accordingly. Now, let's try to use it. So, this is the example PRD. Just use something like O4 Mini or Gemini 2.5 Pro and ask it to generate a PRD based on the example PRD file and save it as the parse PRD file. It can be of any name, but I recommend this. Anyway, just give it what you want to make. I want to make a simple calendar app that stores data in the local storage. In just a bit, it will create the project requirements for us. Now, I already have the MCP server also set up in RuCode, so I can ask it to just parse it. But let me show you how they have integrated RuCode. So, it basically adds custom instructions to RuCode's modes and uses that, which can be seen here. Anyway, let's just ask it to parse it. And in just a bit, it's now done. It uses Gemini and other stuff, as we had it configured. And it now almost becomes free with all the stuff that we can configure it with. Which is awesome, because Sonnet costed a ton, but this doesn't. Anyway, we now have the tasks made, and you can see it by running the list command, which will just show you that, which is kind of awesome. And you can also see the research stuff in the files here. Now, let's just ask it to implement these changes one by one. Okay, so you can see that it just starts on it immediately. Let's wait a bit for it to finish. And it's now done. If we run this, then this works pretty fine, and it also works pretty well. I really like it now, since we are not bound to only use it with something like Sonnet. So, this is kind of cool for sure. I liked the new upgrades, and I hope that they add a way to allow Taskmaster to get the project files and parse them for better tasks after the first one, because it gets pretty complicated after the first try and you can't keep using it. But it's still great for some good one-shot generations. I liked these new updates and thought to talk about this as well. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.